This is gonna be really quick. Uh, I don't really have much to say, but uh, yeah, so basically I had a dream a couple of days ago, maybe like one day ago or two days ago. Uh, uh, recently, uh, Christ uh, told me, you know, that the little kids are actually gonna go to, some little kids could go to the grave with throne judgment. And if uh, many of you individuals have seen the Rod Pickens testimony, uh, you automatically know that what he said, what, what, he, what people were getting judged, bless God, they were getting sent to the lake of fire. And every time that portal would open to get them thrown into the lake of fire, everybody would feel, everybody would feel the, the heat on the side, on the left, on the left side. And he said that it was so hot, it felt cold. Uh, I've actually felt a type of heat that was like that, so I don't know what is this. You know, obviously, everybody felt that type of heat to an extent. Um, but, so basically, God told me, you know, he's like, well, uh, the great white throne judgment, little kids could go there. Obviously, I got mad, you know, because I already know that the witches and the Satanists, they're doing this, uh, this this type of work to get them thrown in a lake of fire. Nah, uh, and, uh, and so, uh, basically, uh, or even not even thrown in a lake of fire, just to experience that type of heat, which is an abomination in itself. But people don't think that that way, you know, and uh, they just think like, it's like, oh, well, you know, some things have to happen. You can't prevent this type of stuff. But nah, unfortunately, there's no unity in the body of Christ that we could agree on one simple concept, not letting little kids go to the great white throne judgment. And yeah, the apostasy is here, it's evident. But anyway, what God was telling me was, uh, he was telling me to think, <coughs> bless God, he was telling me uh, that even when they're already, even when the adults are already thrown in the great white throne judgment, these were individuals with, with lives, <coughs> they were babies at one point too, and it's like, well, God knew each one of these individuals that were in the lake of fire, and he washed them and he nurtured them from the time that they were born all the way until the time that they were thrown in the lake of fire. So it's not something that's very, um, uh, good in God's eyes that, you know, that he wants to see this type of stuff happen. So he was just telling me, uh, you know, he's like, open up your mind that, uh, these individuals, basically, the, the adults that you see getting thrown in the lake of fire, this is the same exact thing, you know, they were babies at one point too. And, uh, this is something that people need to need to unite themselves, bless God, under, and uh, and be like, you know what? Yeah, I really don't want a single soul to go into a lake of fire. And uh, this is just basically what God uh, uh, revealed to me in a dream. Uh, the you know the things about the dream, what happened in it is not really important. You know, it's just. Uh, it, it, he just opened my eyes like he's like well imagine you in the lake of fire and you're just watching all the individuals burning and you know each individual you used to be a child you know and you're just like dang you're like and it's like man it, it, it's, it's heartbreaking you know because you're like well I couldn't save this individual or well, this individual didn't want to be saved some of these people genuinely do not want to be saved though and uh I don't know why. It was obviously the enemy that got inside their head. They don't even want nurture. They're all miserable. But this is not to say that I'm trying to insult them. They're just that. They, they're like beasts. They're like animals. They're just hostile to anything. They're like the, the rabbit dog. They're like the dogs that have been abused. And now anybody who comes in contact with them that shows them any type of love, they try to... They try to fight them back, and it's like, what the heck? I'm trying to help you out. Why, why, why would you try to do that? And, uh, and now uh, I definitely encourage all you people to be praying to God for the whole earth to give uh, these individuals wisdom and nurture and wisdom in places where they could get the wisdom at and, and nurture. Obviously, everybody needs nurture because you know, this is just obvious, but uh. Yeah, I definitely encourage you people to give up these individuals uh, to be praying every day, you know, and taking care of the whole earth and the people of the earth to ensure that everybody is nurtured and everybody is uh, is receiving the wisdom where the wisdom can be received at. 
And uh, the wisdom changes the continents of the phase, you know, it changes an individual's uh, way of thinking. Well, not way of thinking, but you know, they're, they're uh, how do I say it? It just changes the individual. Uh, do not be deceived by people who, who get angry at these types of uh, messages. These people are not right in the head. Uh, any person who gets angry at this message, they're just putting up a little upfront, a pretense. Because it's, it's just obvious we're all human, you know. These people want to act like they're devils, so they're going to die with them. Don't let them deceive you, though, or feel bad for them. Like, what the heck? Why are you getting mad? Like, this isn't even good stuff. Count your blessings. Count what you could actually do in the, in the millennial reign and what you could actually do forever instead of looking at what you can do. But, uh, again, not everybody can receive this type of, these types of messages. But, you know, if you actually know how to talk to people, you could actually steer these individuals' hearts to actually get this message into their hearts. They, they actually accept this type of things these types of things, but uh, again, not everybody has that type of uh, tongue to get uh, everybody saved. And uh, I think I'm going to leave it off at that point, at that uh, glory to God. Uh, people, humble yourselves down, that God may exalt you. And uh, yeah, no, don't steal glory from the Most High. He's not stupid, and neither should you. You shouldn't be stupid either. Uh, you should know that everything that you've ever gotten in your life was from God. There was nothing in your life that you ever got yourself. The only thing you got yourself into was trouble. And, uh, and Jesus Christ already paid the price for that. And again, these devils do not. These devils get more irked than you think. When you start telling them these types of messages. When you're trying to save their soul from the lake of fire. But, oh, uh, bless God. But yeah, uh, this is all out war. But if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe with all your heart, God raised him from the dead after you die for your sins and my sins and the sins of this earth, you will be saved for with the mouth, confession made unto salvation. But with the heart, man, believe unto righteousness. Now repent and be baptized for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, which is eternal life. Do the will of the Father in heaven forever, and make sure that your names are written in the book of life. Because everybody whose name is not found written in the book of life will automatically get thrown until like a fire is not even going to matter what work you did or what work you thought you did for God. If your name is not found written in the book of life, it was in vain. You believed in vain, unfortunately. And that's just a sad case of many individuals who like to profess themselves as Catholics, Christians, Mormons, Church of Latter-day Saints, Jehovah Witnesses, whatever, Muslims. These people don't have, they have the, uh, the, the, search, the search for God, I guess. I don't even know, but they don't know who to search in. And it's Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Oh, yeah. If I address a sin in your life, please do not get mad at me. The only reason I would even address the sin is because I don't want you to die because I love you. Not because I'm trying to pick at you. I already know myself. I'm, I'm a sinful man, too. But... Um, no, I already know myself. I'm not trying to pick at you. I'm trying to help you out because I care about you and I love you and I don't want you to die. Or if not, I would just shut my mouth. I'd be like, man, go ahead and die by yourself. But I'm not like that. I don't want to be like that. And, uh, you know, not, not everybody is, uh, not everybody is created equal. Not everybody, yeah, everybody receives the message differently that, that you give to them. Some of these individuals will genuinely get pissed off and they'll get angry and aggravated at you for even mentioning Jesus Christ. I said, like, what the heck? They're like, dude, this is what life is. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, I don't really have any, anything else to say, you know. Uh, don't, be very cautious about what you see and what you accept and what you receive. Not everything is from God. Some of the things I need your people to be wise and use your heads. Not everything is from God. You could be accepting a curse from somebody and you don't even realize it. So, yeah, give honor and thanks to the Most High. And that's it.